Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be for February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Libra please? What is the overarching energy for Libra? Message for our lovely Librans, thank you. Okay, so we have the Queen of Coins. Message for Libra, please. Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message that Libra needs to hear? Thank you. February 2021, please. What does Libra need to hear? Thank you. crystal ball energy so there's definitely a newfound clarity here um sometimes can be to do with the future when that image appears as well okay libra so i'm going to pop that down and angels what is the message that libra needs to hear the most please Okay, so we have trust. I mean, this is a card of being watched over, guided, uh, listening to your intuition most definitely, answers from within, illumination, um, but also an energy of trust. Could be clarity on a situation. Let's get more. Let's cut more cards and see what we get. So I'm going to pull four cards. It roughly works out as one card per month. So per, per week, one card per week. <laughs> One card per week, Libra. Um, but obviously, divine timing and all that, the messages can overlap. So, and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, Libra, so I have two cards here. I have the devil and the three of cups there. Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Libra, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. <clears throat> Shuffle one more time. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Libra, please? clarify the cards on the table for Libra. So we have the Ten of Swords with the Devil. Ten of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups. The Seven of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups. And the Ace of Wands, there you are Libra at the end of your reading with the Ace of Wands. And the ones are very much about power as well. Power, potential, action. By the day, <laughs> we have the sun. I mean, that's beautiful energy. The sun is the most positive card in the tarot deck. So, really nice energy. The queen of coins is, is somebody. It's interesting that you've got the almost kind of like difficult energy with this devil energy. And you thought, I mean, the devil is Capricorn and we have a Capricorn here. I mean, you may have been dealing with a Capricorn, but the Queen of Coins is somebody who understands how to deal with that devil and win. You know, uh, she is somebody who understands how to grow within any challenge, with any boundary, with any situation, uh, by focus, by determination, by patience, by using her practical skills, knowledge and experience 
to kind of bring progress and growth to her situation. She can represent um, healing. She's a very good healing energy, healing, growth, uh, finding your foundation, reconnecting to your core. Uh, she's also very much very practical, understands how to provide financially for herself, can sometimes be a working parent, male or female energy. So it definitely feels in this situation, Libra, you have newfound clarity to heal from something um, and overcome some kind of demon, overcome some kind of boundary um, challenge that you might have faced, you know, and that's what I definitely feel for some of you is happening because there's definitely an energy of trust, trust now that things will get better because in this reading, certainly the cards are saying they will. Um, the Queen of Coins can also be an offer or an opportunity, um, very good in terms of money and career in particular. So obviously take what resonates with you, Libra. The Ten of Swords with the Devil energy. I mean, these aren't easy energies. The Ten of Swords can be about betrayal, can be a loss. Um, can be somebody wounding you deeply but it's a 10 which is a completion um, and with that devil it's almost kind of like it's it's time to break free of the instability it's time to break free of the toxic energy it's time to break free of things that you feel powerless things that you may have had hold of you uh, for a period of time it feels like, certainly with this Ten of Swords, it's a new day, a new dawn, rising in the distance, pushing away the darkness. The pain is over if you allow it to be now. And that is very much at the beginning of February. Um, so this devil energy can be a person that you might have been dealing with. Um, It might well be for some of you that there are decisions on your future to do with this person. Um, it can also be a situation that is unstable, that has caused instability. It can be about unhealthy attachments, um, unhealthy relationships, uh, power struggles, manipulation, feeling powerless in a situation. So something that feels, I feel it's had hold of you for a period of time because the Ten of Wands, it builds up over a period of time generally. It's burdens that are built up over a period of time, but it's a 10 again. So there's definitely an energy of you have an opportunity to heal, reconnect to who you are, and put these 10 of ones down. Because it definitely feels in this reading there are endings and new beginnings coming your way. Um, releasing burdens of the past. And it feels like whatever the test that this devil presented to you, it feels in this situation you're releasing some kind of burden or have the opportunity to now because we have two tens here and ten in the minor arcana is the completion energy something can be over and um, something is about to be released and um, definitely an energy of make space for the new and again that three of cups energy you may have had helpful people around you friends family supporting you, giving you positive support through this difficult time. And what it's bringing is the winter is over, the spring is here. So there's definitely an energy here, Libra, of whatever burden, whatever instability you've been through, it feels in this situation. I mean, this is a card of celebration as well, joy, um, having a reason to celebrate. Uh, but it's a feel-good energy. It's, it's an energy of the winter is over, the spring is here. So it can be a card of closure, just drawing a line under something. But it can be something that's coming in that's giving you a reason to celebrate, that's lifting your spirits and helping you release the past energy. Because this King of Cups is, it, it was certainly with the Seven of Cups, it's an interesting energy because Libra, it feels... I mean, for example, if this was to do with the workplace situation and it was an unhealthy environment or an unhealthy person that you were working with, something, someone who probably, I mean, this can be a card of ego, uh, big ego, you know, the devil energy. Um, the seven of, of cups is a card of hopes, dreams and wishes, can be a card of choices, Equally, I mean, this could be in terms of love, romance, relationships, but definitely in the energy, 
you might have secretly been working towards something, been working towards new opportunity, been working towards new hopes, new dreams, new wishes, and probably keeping it to yourself, quietly. There's something of secrecy here, secretly working towards new opportunity here, um, because this is about there is opportunity hanging out there in the ether. It's not quite manifested yet, that's why it's your hopes, dreams and wishes, because it's that kind of like airy energy of there is such promise here, but you have to take action to make it real. And I definitely feel in this energy, for some of you, there is absolutely some new hope, new dream, new wish coming your way. Now, it could be with the Scorpio as well. I mean, this can be in terms of love. This can be to do with matters of the heart as well. Uh, but it definitely feels for some of you, you might have covertly been working towards something here because whatever you've hoped for, whatever the promise is here, it feels like it's being manifested here because this is you, the Queen of Swords. So definitely this energy of you finding this opportunity. Now, again, Libra, the Ace of Wands can be connected to your passions, your desires. It can very much be new love, uh, new relationship, you know, coming your way. It feels very beautiful. And this is something that holds great potential and is given to you by God, the Divine, the Universe. Um, it's the beginnings of something new. The Ace of Wands in terms of money, career as well, uh, promises such hope, such potential, that when you take action towards this, go for something now, it feels it has the potential to really grow, you know, to really grow. But what this is doing, this Ace of Wands, is opening a new door. And it's interesting, this is about putting down the Ten of Wands, the burdens of the past, and almost kind of like, opening this new door here, going for something. These are cards of action. And the Ace of Wands is, is that forward moving, forward looking, decisions on your future kind of energy, you know, something that you really want to capitalize on here because it's connected with the sun, the most positive card of the tarot deck, the feel good energy, the, the energy of liberation from final liberation from the burdens of the past and being empowered, being guided by divine light as well, um, which is why you're being told to trust, because you will come through the other side of a situation and release, and that's what this card is all about. It is about restoration, reconnecting to who you are, feel good, it's a card of good news, celebration, joy. So absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy here. Uh, it feels like you're gonna come through the other side of this situation. And I definitely feel that there's an energy of breaking free of whatever this devil represented for you and just feeling so good about it. There are greater, greater, better things ahead. And that's what you're being told. And it's manifesting, manifesting in the form of this opportunity here for you, Libra. And again, the Queen of Swords, instability, most definitely is represented by the devil and we by and I, I kind of feel this is partly you as well you know understanding how to stay focused how to stay focused on the on how to move forward how to work within a difficult boundary a difficult limitation a difficult test a difficult environment call it what you will but staying focused keeping your eye on the prize towards restoring balance in your life, you know, reconnecting to who you are and feeling pretty good about it. Um, so it's a lovely, lovely energy here, Libra. I, I definitely feel this powerful turning point for you this month, but it's definitely an energy of releasing the past, releasing the past finally. And there is new hopes, new dreams, choices, hanging out there in the ether and definitely being manifested. It feels third, fourth week of February for some of you. So very nice energy indeed. I'm going to pull a final card. And it's all, I mean, she's all about growth and this Ace of Wands is all about the potential for growth, you know? Um, it's a seed that you plant. Okay. 
Final message for Libra, please. Final message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. Okay. So we have, okay, three cards. We have the tiger, divine timing, good things come to those who wait. We have the elephant, grounding, very queen of coins energy. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Stay practical this month. Stay focused, stay practical, because that's how you really overcome this devil energy. And we have dog, divine service. How can you serve yourself better? Um, and I definitely feel in this energy, that is what you need to focus on. How do I deal with the situation? What is it that I want? What are my hopes, dreams and wishes? What do I need to work towards? Maybe covertly for some of you, can be about new love as well for some of you as well, but it definitely feels something exciting, very exciting is coming your way. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Libra, and I will see you next time. Thank you.